Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Tax, brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison. Today, I have a special request from one of the contractors from our San Diego chapter. Pacey asked me to put together an Exact Hacks video that showed how you present a customer or a policyholder with the material budget for a replacement product, uh, whether it be a floor, a vanity, a countertop, things along those lines. We've all seen a customer or policyholder get excited about a line item in their estimate, and there's an ampersand for remove and replace, or a plus for replace. And they say, oh wow, I have $5,000 for a new wood floor? That's amazing. Uh, here I have selected this product that is material cost exactly $5,000 because that's what my insurance said that I would get for my wood floor. Please buy it for $5,000 and then install it. Thank you. And they have no idea that that includes for an ampersand situation, the demolition, the material cost, the installation, and all of those things. So whereas they thought it was $5,000 for the material, it was significantly less. So we wanted to show you the best possible way that you can show your customers and policyholders, here is a material budget that was granted in this estimate for this specific line item, product selection, etc. We're gonna start a new project today. I'm gonna call it Exact Wood Floor. Notice that I'm in the contractor profile. We always train and recommend that you work in the carrier profile, but for this specific one, I wanted to work out of contractor because of the reports that are generated in the contractor profile. I'm gonna add a new project. It's gonna come up down here. And of course, when I go to estimate items, it's gonna ask for a price list. I'm gonna work off the October 2017 San Diego one and do a general 8% tax. And there we are. So. Here I'm going to add FCW, floor cuffing wood category, and the selector is going to be LAMTD, engineered wood flooring, a fairly common wood flooring item that has some quality and value to it that customers may get confused about. Um, in this case, as I haven't done a sketch, I'm gonna put in the square footage for something simple, 100 square feet. Awesome, as you notice, there's an ampersand right here. I have the ampersand and the square footage is 100, Unit price is $11.56 to remove and replace 100 square feet of engineered wood flooring. What I'm gonna do here, first and foremost, I'm gonna work in this in the context of just the replace. We're not gonna think about remove and replace. This is a repair estimate and what it would normally cost to replace engineered wood flooring. That reduces to 876. Now I wanna actually add two other line items, the same exact line items, next to each other. I'm gonna add a material only one. Yes, yes, I'm gonna put 100 in here. And then FCW, LAM, TD again. And I'm gonna do an install only. Put it at 100 again, yes, yes, please continue. Now you'll notice, and I'll pull up a calculator here to show it. You'll see this right here, 876 for material and install. Just to double check to make sure it all lines up, we're gonna add up this 582 for materials only, plus the 294, and that will come out to 876. So we can confirm that breaking up the replace line item for engineer wood flooring will um, break down equally into material and install. Makes sense, just it's good to confirm. Now that we have those confirmed, I'm actually gonna delete this line item here for this exercise. Moved it down here, press delete, and there we go. All right, so now I have material only and install only. A lot of you might think, all right, cool, there's your material budget, there's your install budget. She, instead of having that initial um, about $900 for uh, a, a budget for flooring. She now the customer now understands that there's $628. But that's a little bit too much as well because there's more than just the wood flooring in this material line item. If we go into the components here, you'll see that in the materials there's both the engineered wood flooring, which you're trying to present the customer with a budget for, and nails. Nails are included. They're not a significant cost, but they are included. The best way now for you to present to your customer policyholder will be in the report section. If you go over here to print 
and we go to under reports the components and we select view you'll see down here that the FCW LAMTD engineer wood flooring for 111 square feet that includes waste based off our 100 uh, square foot initial entry into the calc field their total material budget for selecting this wood flooring that they would like to replace their floor with is $562.56. That is in contrast to, oh, I have to close this. What was that number again? 56256. Five, Here it's 62856. Six. About a 60 something dollar difference that uh, can usually won't make a break project, but every dollar counts in estimates such as these and when you're providing a, a material budget for your customer. That is how you present a material budget for your customer. If you have any questions, please comment below. Like, share, and obviously subscribe to get updates of our newest exact hacks that come out every Thursday. Thank you very much and look forward to seeing you on the next one.